Why is it hard to find a job as a biotechnologist? Finding a job as a biotechnologist can be challenging due to many reasons like bad economy, low presence of the industry in a region, fierce competition of course, complications of landing a job despite of, present, uh, despite of a reasonable presence of the industry, and etc. Aside from these obvious or the most known ones, there might be some other reasons as well, which I'm going to talk about in this video. The reasons are more specific to biotechnology or similar interdisciplinary fields. You might understand what I'm talking about in just a bit, and let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section below. So do stick around to the end of this video. Just an FYI, these points are all according to my observations from what I've seen, read and heard from my surroundings. So do share your experience and thoughts with me if it has been different for you or if you heard some, you know, different things since a generalization of this topic is not possible. So let's dive into these specific reasons why is it hard to find a job as a biotechnologist. So the first reason, in my opinion, is due to the nature of the job that we biotechnologists have. If you think of a typical biotech job, you most probably think of something in departments like research and development, analytics of some specific sorts, I would say, or, or something in production, which are some of the most common or typical departments for a biotechnologist. But there are many other areas that you as a biotechnologist are qualified for. Departments like enzymatics, microbiology, genetic engineering, process technology of some sort, uh, analytics of some sort, and quality assurance and more. So the thing to remember is that you have to apply to all types of jobs that you're interested in, or you at least have to know about the types of jobs that you as biotechnologists are qualified to do. And then you can select the jobs that you're interested in. And of course, it also depends on the type of industry and what the company is looking for. But if you have a little bit of interest in some of those other departments, then you surely should look for what you're qualified for and understand to which type of jobs you as biotechnologists can apply to and then do it and then, and then just apply. As I've mentioned this in my previous videos, you should look at the job description. If the job description seems somewhat familiar to you from your studies, then you should probably just apply for that position if you have some sort of interest in that job. And it doesn't have to be a 100% match, but general enough so that you're able, uh, so that you're not unfamiliar with the topic. And so that if you get the chance to do the job, you should be able to learn it quickly. And you know, you should be able to do the job to perform. Now, the problem here is that some biotechnologists might look for something directly related to biotechnology. They look for specific terms in the title or job description, like they look directly to the job offers that, you know, are asking or looking for a biotechnologist and not pay attention to the job offers that they are qualified to do, but don't specifically mention the term biotechnology. But if they read and understand the job description, they will realize that they are in fact qualified for the job. And this can be from many different areas and sometimes from the industries that you never expect. I can share something from my own personal experience. When I was looking for a job, I got to see something from the VW, uh, you know, the Volkswagen website. They were looking for some, some sort of chemical engineer uh, in their EV battery technologies. So when I was looking at this job offer, I looked into the part where they mention what actually they're looking for or what or what you would be doing in the lab, what, what type of work you would be doing. So when I read that part, I came to realize that they were looking for someone who has a little bit of understanding from organic and inorganic chemistry, you know, from electro and um, yeah, from electrochemistry basically, and a little bit of um, analytical chemistry. You wouldn't expect a job offer for biotechnologists at Volkswagen, an auto industry, I would say, a car industry or car manufacturer, whatever. But there was something that we biotechnologists could apply to and could do that job. So um, do look for jobs in other industries. Look at the job description, look at the job details. And if it's familiar to you, if you think you biotechnologists have studied about that part or did some experimental work during your studies, then you are most probably applied, uh, qualified to do that job and you should apply for that job if you're interested, of course. And some of the examples could be something 
like a chemical analyst or a developer in the chemical industry, or even something related to physics. So if you're interested, look into other industries and you sure probably would find something. And I would say it again, look for the qualifications that they are asking for a job in the description. Look under the duties section in the job details. You would be surprised how many jobs you as biotechnologists are qualified to apply for. And as a general rule of thumb, if something is familiar to you from your studies, then you're most probably qualified to apply for that job. So the second problem that biotechnologists might have while applying for a job is the competition. Now you might say that there is some sort of competition in almost every field. That is correct, but I'm talking about a different type of competition in biotechnology. It is basically the opposite side of the first point that I mentioned in this video. If you biotechnologists can apply for jobs in other fields, then you also have to consider the fact that you would have some competition for jobs, not just from biotechnologists, but also people from some other backgrounds, some other academic backgrounds, like biochemists, like biologists and microbiologists and chemists. In your biotech department, there might be some people from like let's say microbiology or some from chemistry background that are doing some sort of work. So that is the type of competition that I'm talking about in this video. And in some cases, people from other fields might be a little bit more suitable for a certain type of job than a biotechnologist, which also makes it harder for biotechnologists to fill in the position. So for example, if a biotech company is looking for a, speci uh, for a specialist in microbiology, they might offer the job to a microbiologist despite of the fact that a biotechnologist is 100% qualified to do the job. This can happen due to the fact that a microbiologist probably has a deeper understanding of the topic than a biotechnologist who has the basic understanding of course but not as well or not as in depth as a microbiologist and a company might just be looking for that specific person. If you guys remember this video where I talked about the wide spectrum of jobs that biotechnologists can apply for, well that certainly is true in many cases, but in some cases a biotechnologist might not be the one that a company is looking for. It all comes down to what the department or the company is looking for. So I would suggest again that you look for the job description and understand what the company is looking for and if you have some sort of interest in that job or in that position, then you should apply for it. So I hope you understand what I'm trying to say or convey here. And if not, let me know in the comment section. And also do let me know if you agree or disagree with me at this point. And the third problem that biotechnologists might face is the lack of experience. And I guess this is a barrier for starters in many industries and understandably so. But I feel like in industries like biotechnology and some other technical industries, experience is a decisive factor. And the reason behind this, I think, is because experience in biotechnology might be required or a lot more beneficial for some positions due to the delicacy of the processes that take place in this field. This is also a problem, just like the second point, in many different industries, not just in biotechnology. So fresh starters or people with less experience in biotechnology might find some methods or use of equipment or nature of the work that is done in the lab a lot more challenging due to the processes that are used because the processes are so delicate and you have to be very, very careful. So it's due to the type of work that is done in the lab, in my opinion. And I think percentage wise, many companies in biotechnology might require a certain level of experience in many cases and that percentage is a little bit higher if you compare it with some other industries. As I mentioned earlier, I might be wrong, but I think in biotechnology, you experience that a little bit more than in some other industries. And let me say this, it is also true for many other technical industries that use delicate and complicated methods in their day-to-day -day processes. So depending on the type of work that is done in a specific department or industry, they might look for someone that is more experienced than a starter. So biotechnology is not the only industry that asks for experienced people, but it is up there with one of the most complicated industries, I would say. And just a disclaimer, I'm making this claim just because I have looked into biotech jobs, obviously, more than you know jobs in other industries, let's say technical industries. 
So that's why I'm making this claim. I might be completely wrong, but I have a feeling that bio in biotechnology, it's a little bit more to see. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section what you think. Early in this video, we talked about applying for jobs in different departments in an industry or at a company. Here, we're going to mention some different industries as a whole. I know I have already mentioned this point early in this video, but I think it is important to understand and try to differentiate between applying for a job at a different department and applying for a job at a totally different industry. So biotechnologists can also apply for jobs in a totally different industry, like purely pharma industry or purely chemical or food industry. A purely different industry like that, you can apply for that sort of job. And let me say this, biotechnologists are not qualified to do all the jobs that that company offers, but there might be some jobs that biotechnologists are qualified to apply for. And in many cases, biotechnologists can also apply for technical jobs like in traditional engineering companies that develop some sort of technical devices, let's say. And I have mentioned this point in, on this channel before, that some biotechnologists get their degree as bachelors of engineering they have it a little bit easier than the ones that have their degree as bachelors of science in these sort of traditional technological industries. In any case, you can try your luck and apply for jobs in technical industries as well. If you're interested, if you think you can learn and deal with these technical methods, I mean, traditional, you know, engineering fields or industries, then you might be qualified to do some jobs, not too much in these sorts of industries. So just look for the job description and if it's somewhat familiar to you, and if you think you can do the job, then you should apply for that position. It all comes down to what you're familiar with or what you have learned during your study programs and your skill sets that you've learned for a specific field. If it's familiar to you, you should apply for it. That's my theory. So this way you can try your luck in many different industries if you have a little bit of interest in that specific industry. And the worst that could happen is you don't get an answer or they say, okay, you're not qualified to do the job. That's the worst that could happen, but it could also develop into something good and you might like that field. So nothing wrong with applying for jobs in different industries if you have some sort of interest in it. At the end of this video, let me just say this. Biotechnology is an interdisciplinary field which includes many other disciplines like microbiology, like genetic engineering, process technology, chemistry, physics, and some other stuff from these traditional technical fields. At the end of the day, mixture of all these fields, all these stuff, makes biotechnology what it is. And if you are a biotechnologist, you're qualified to apply for jobs in all these different fields. And a general rule of thumb, if a job at a specific industry is somewhat familiar to you from your studies, you're qualified to apply for it. Hopefully you understood and liked the content of this video. And do share your thoughts and comments with me in the comments section and do let me know if there are any questions. So that's been it for this video. Keep yourself up to date with the latest news and updates in biotechnology and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.